Alright, I got some football things to say. Um, first off, if you saw my initial draft videos, you'll know that I was a big fan of our first three picks. Uh, loved the Russell Okung pick. Really liked Earl Thomas. Really liked Golden Tate. Those guys made the draft for me. I would have been fine with anything after that, as you can see by looking at my previous videos, but after that, I didn't get a chance to talk about what I thought, and I really don't have a lot to say. Um, our fourth round pick was Walter uh, Thurmond, defensive back out of Oregon. I couldn't tell you anything about him. Um, as for our defensive backfield, I like our cornerbacks. I don't like our safeties, except for obviously we're bringing in Earl Thomas. And, you know, I don't hate Dion Grant. I just don't think he's going to be around that much longer. I, 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 don't, I don't trust him, if you will. So, if he's going to be a safety, that's great. If not, I guess there's room for him, but I do kind of like our cornerbacks. Uh, EJ Wilson, defensive end out of North Carolina. Again, I couldn't tell you too much about him, but I do think we need defensive ends. We lost Daryl Tapp. Patrick Kearney's retired. So we're thin there, and I'm glad we picked up a defensive end in late in the fourth. Definitely good with that. Uh, Cam Chancellor, a defensive back out of Virginia Tech, same thing. If he's a safety, if we, you know he's good depth, I'm sure when you're talking about late in the f early in the fifth round, it, it is what it is. Or excuse me, yeah, early in the fifth round. So whatever he does is fine, but I do think we need safeties. But again, I kind of like our cornerbacks. Anthony McCoy, <clears throat> uh, you know, we're getting into the late sixth round here, and at that point, I, I, who cares, but um, linebacker, I mean, tight end out of USC, I like our tight ends, um, namely just because of Carlson, after that, I'm fine with whatever, but I like guys like Jeb Pulitzer, if he's still around, he might have gone to Denver or something, I can't remember exactly, but I liked him. Uh, we had another backup, I think Joel Newton, that I kind of liked. I don't think he's with us anymore, but we could probably get him anytime we wanted. But, you know, it's the sixth round. If uh, Pete Carroll wants to go get one of his guys, so be it. I'm fine with that. Uh, Dexter Davis, linebacker out of Arizona. Again, at this point, it's a total crapshoot. But um, I still like our linebackers quite a bit. You know, I'm willing to give Aaron Curry another year. I still trust Tatupu. I'm not a fan of what Leroy Hill did over this offseason, but I like him as a player, and I really like our backup. So, again, whatever. And Jamison Cons, running back out of Kent State. Now, I would like a running back, but if I was going to get a running back, I would have wanted a franchise guy. So, with this Cons guy, who's obviously a very late seventh-round pick, it's whatever. But, um... You know, he's not, I'm sure he's not going to make the team, so I don't really have a strong opinion about that. But I really did like our draft. I d am worried about our defensive end spot, and I don't love our running backs, but I think we patched a lot of the holes. I mean, before this draft, I didn't like our offensive line. We got a superstar tackle. I didn't like our safeties. We got Earl Thomas. Um, Golden Tate, I actually don't mind our wide receivers, but Golden Tate has such big potential that I don't think we could pass that up, and we didn't, and I'm glad we didn't. So that was awesome, and that's what I thought about our draft as a whole. Really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot better than last year's, so I was really pleased with how that went. As for the rest of the draft, for everyone else, I'm going to go ahead and get into that now. All right, to start things off, the first four picks of the draft went... I think exactly as I thought they would, and my stance on all of those picks are, well, I've never been a Sam Bradford fan, I will digress that the Rams probably had to do it, but I've never been a Sam Bradford fan, um, don't know how he's going to translate into the pros, don't trust it, I thought the best player in this draft was Nick Nidam Dukong Sa the guy the Lions drafted, Suh, um, that, that guy's something special, I, I, I remember watching him against Texas in the Big 12 championship game, that, that dude is, I think, almost definitely going to be really good, um, McCoy, solid pick, I don't like McCoy, obviously, as much as Suh, but, you know, he's going to fit in nicely there, 
And, you know, Trent Williams going to Washington, you know, good job. I mean, got to do something about that offensive line sometime. So, yeah, all those picks, fine. You know, I, I give a fine to the Rams because I kind of think they needed to do it because they need a quarterback and they need to keep the fans interested and Suh is not going to keep the fans interested like Bradford. But at the same time, the best way to keep the fans' interest is produce a good team. And I think so would have helped more in a good team. Uh, the Chiefs took Eric Berry, which came out of left field to me. I thought they were going to take Okung, and I was kind of upset about that. But, um, you know, I'm sure he's a great player, probably the, easily the best safety in the draft. But um, I was just surprised is all, I guess. I... I I think the Chiefs have so many issues that maybe defensive back isn't the one you look at. So, yeah. Uh, I was a little disappointed that the Bills took C.J. Spiller because I really thought he was going to fall to us at number 14. Everything was set up for him to fall to us at number 14 and um, did not happen because the Bills took him. And I guess this means Marshawn Lynch. Hey, maybe we'll trade for Marshawn Lynch. I, I Actually, I don't really want that to happen because I don't like him that much, but... Um, it was a little bit out of left field, and, you know, they got a lot of good running backs in Buffalo now, but it's, it's going to be hard to translate into wins. Uh, Tyson Alulao, the Jaguars pick, everybody already slammed into that. I got nothing to add except what everyone else had to say. Um, what else? Uh, Ryan Matthews, I didn't have that guy going in the first round. I, I thought he was going to be gone for a while. I thought he was going to be off the board for a while. And Chargers s snuck up and picked him. I guess they kind of had to because obviously they're in desperate need of a running back. But I'm not sure where that came from. A lot of people like him to win Rookie of the Year. And, you know, I guess I'll concede that. At the time, I didn't like the pick. I kind of came around on it. Um... What else? What else jumped out at me? Um, Jason Pierre-Paul to the Giants. Uh, you know, part of me is thinking that the Giants take enough defensive linemen as it is, and at some point you got to take something else, do something else. But, uh, you know, the Giants' defense last year ranked 28th in the league, so maybe you got to keep doing it until it works. So I, I didn't know really how to feel about that, and that's kind of what I came away with that from. Uh, Jermaine Gresham to the Bengals. Really liked that pick. I was a big fan of that pick. Perfect thing for the Bengals to do at number 21. Exactly the kind of thing that they need. Um, yeah, what else? What else? Uh, the uh, Cowboys traded up for Des Bryant. And, you know, I thought that was a pretty great move as well. He's a boomer bust type player, but if he doesn't work out, the Cowboys will live. If he does work out, the Cowboys will have an embarrassment of, of, of offensive riches, and those are the kind of risks that you take. Um, on the flip side of that, the Patriots continue, traded down like three times instead of taking Des Bryant, which I thought was stupid. I, 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 they took you know a Devin McCourt, McCourty, and they wanted a defensive back, a defensive player, a special teams guy, but... Um, I know a lot of Patriots fans who really wanted Des Bryant, and for them to ignore him and trade down to avoid him like two, three times, that was weird to me. That, I, I don't know, it's like they were sending a message that they wanted nothing to do with that guy. Uh, Tim Tebow did the Broncos. Um, you know, it's a team that's in an interesting position, and they took a chance, and I can respect that. You know, taking a big chance to try and jumpstart your franchise. It's going to be boom or bust. I kind of like that for the Broncos doing that, <clears throat> but I don't know if I would have taken this chance. It, it, it's too much. I, I was not a fan of Tim Tebow to Denver, but you know what? If anybody could make him work, it's um, McDaniels. That's, that's very true. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What else do we got here? Uh, Kyle Wilson to the Jets, another defensive back. So that defensive backfield, that's going to be something. Del Darrell Revis, uh, maybe Kerry Rhodes will get back into shape. Maybe they'll bring back Lito Shepard. Now they got this Kyle Wilson fellow. Going to be good. Uh, Javed Best to the Lions. They traded up to get him. I really like that one. Um, that was a nice pick. Um, Chris Cook 
to the Vikings. Now, I had the Vikings pegged to take um, the the guy from Notre Dame. God damn it, I can't remember his name. Uh, Jimmy Clausen. Yeah, Jimmy Clausen. And I was really surprised when it didn't happen. Maybe they have the reasons, but it feels like this Vikings team is just hoping that Brett Favre makes his return this year. And if it doesn't happen, they're not going to have a backup plan. They're going to just be screwed. So, to me... I don't know if that's the wise thing to do. I guess they can just roll with uh, um, Tavares or whatever. and I, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of it. That's pretty much the whole first round. Obviously, you had like Jimmy Clausen to the Panthers, Taylor Mays to the Niners, uh, Toby Gerhardt to the Vikings. I did kind of like that one. I kind of wanted Toby. It didn't happen, but uh, I do kind of like Toby. But I'm going to leave it at that. That's the whole draft. And, um, yeah, see you guys later.